Aloha, Ecamm family. It is time again to show you some of the coolest updates inside of the all new Ecamm Live 4.0. We've made a lot of updates to the features and functionality to make your live stream and recorded videos so much smoother. Let me show you one of the ones that I am absolutely loving and that are the updates that we made into the interview mode. Now let's pop over into Ecamm and take a look. Here in Ecamm, all you need to do if you don't have the interview window open is to press on the two head icon that will get open the interview mode. You'll see right now now mine's is switched off. Let's switch that baby on. Down here on the bottom, I got a little gear. These are all the same. One thing to remember if you're brand new to Ecamm is this turn off or turn on audio processing for guests. I tend to like mine like this in this musician's mode. It gives you the cleanest, best, sweetest sound. If you have a guest that doesn't have headphones or maybe in a noisy situations, you'd want to uncheck that box. If you uncheck that box, it'll make it a little smoother. I have my images and everything already in place, and so now I am good to go. So let's go ahead and save that, and what we'll do is we'll go and get ourselves a guest. There is one thing I wanna show you real quick in preferences, is that if I go to the interview mode here, there's the opportunity to either show just your host camera to the guest, so all they see is you, this window up here, or if I select broadcast, they're able to see whatever I am sending out to the net, or in this particular case, whatever I am recording. A couple of the other things that you can adjust in here is play the ring chime. You need that so you can know when to answer the phone. Auto answer guests, I never do that. <laughs> or you can send the guests to the green room. And this lower music for sound and guests, uh, lower music sound for guests when off air audio mode. That means if I'm playing an intro song or playing an outro song and I mute myself and the interview mode, I would be able to talk to my guests freely. That doesn't go out to the internet. Those, those are the primary functions thus far. Now, another thing I like to do real quick, I like to bring this sound over here to about 80. I like to keep all of these right here. What this gives me the opportunity to do is if someone in the live stream says to me, hey, I can't hear you know, the guests, I'm able to use this slider to pick them up a little bit. So now let's go over here and get our guests. While we are waiting for our guests, here's what you can do. Let's go over to the scene here and you'll see I have this already slotted for guest one. If I come in here, I can select any number of these guests, but this is what's known as a camera placeholder, right? So even if I were to create another brand new scene and then switch this to blank, which would give me my background and add a new camera here, I can set this up as a sort of full screen version of my guests. I'll line this up in the middle, click on the pencil, and then say, select as guest one. This means that once the guest calls in, I don't have to make any changes to the scene that's gonna be automatically populated by the guests once they call in. This will save you when you wanna pre-build your shows or pre-build your layouts and just have your guests automatically pop in. Now, initially, when you go to a blank scene, if I were to get Command Shift B to get blank, you may not see a background. That's just because I have a background turned on over here in the show and background area. Also, when I create my new scenes right now, let me delete that. If I create a new scene now, it is landing on this camera. I like to set my settings over here in video to say when I create a new scene, always go to blank. I find that it, one of the safest ways to do this is always go to blank. You heard that chime? That chime simply means that my guest is calling in. So let's go over here and answer the guest. Down here in the interview panel, I'll press on the green phone icon, just like your phone, to answer the guest and give it a second. And there is Paul. Hello, Paul. So now we've got our pre-show all together. Let me show you what I mean because we set that camera placeholder up. If I were to pop over here and look at this scene, Paul's already in position where I set that placeholder for guest one. If I come over here and do it again, there's Paul once again. So we're already set up. Now, I talked about some new stuff that we added. Oh, hold your socks. Let me show you this, people. If I come over here and open up Ecamm Live Preferences and I switch over onto interview mode, I take that back, I go to recording mode, you'll see I have the ability for camera A to select me and record me, right? I have the ability for this interview guest to select and record Paul. If I wanted to add my overhead camera, I could do that too. 
down here, I have isolated audio tracks. This means that I, when I press record, I'm going to get a recording of my audio separate from Paul's audio and any other mics that I might have over here in the sound panel, they're all gonna be separate. So I'm gonna skip this camera for right now and everything looks good. And I'm gonna turn off the record countdown for this particular instance. It's a little three, two, one, no biggie. So now we're ready to show you what it looks like with these isolated video tracks inside of interview mode. Game changer. All right, watch this, watch this. Okay, so I'm gonna press record. Maybe we should have had an isolated moderator track. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so what's happening right now is Ecamm Live is recording my feed, Paul feed, and our individual audio tracks to a folder on the desktop. If we were going live, this would be the exact same thing. I'm just using record only mode right now because no one wants to see us pop up on the internet with, with no reason. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and press finish on this guy. Ah, nah, nah, nah. In recording. It's gonna do a little spinny and a little twirly. It pops back up and you see the option to show this file. If I press that and select okay, I just got a folder on my other desktop that shows my microphone, pause microphone. I'll go ahead and label this for my editing purposes so I don't mess up. I'll say Paul Duncan. I almost misspelled your name. <laughs> so, and then I'll click on this. And I just like to do this just so I don't get lost later. And then you'll see my camera A is this, is me. And then camera B is Paul. And then this is us already pre-mixed the way it always recorded. And then I got another copy of Paul because why not have two Pauls? Like I said, there's been some major updates to interview mode. I want to show you right now a demonstration of what it looks like to do a stream with all 10 guests activated. So in this particular uh, clip, you'll see that I have myself and 10 other guests and we're all live at the same time. Now I was doing this, sending the stream to the internet at 720p and I'm recording all of my guests at 720p, but on my M1 Mac studio, I had zero problem whatsoever at sending out and recording a stream with myself and 10 guests. Yeah! So as you can see, interview mode has been updated and we got a lot of things to show you. Of course, we'll do a deep dive video on this later, but we had to show you again, the coolest features inside of Ecamm Live version 4.0. If you have any questions, comments, and or feedback, you can drop them down in the comment section below and then make sure that down there in the bottom, say hi to Paul who's still hanging out with me in interview mode. <laughs> Guys, we'll see you in the next video. I, I, we have so much cool stuff to show you. I'm gonna pop up two more videos right now that I think you ought to watch.